What's going on everybody? It's Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com back again with another video. Today I'm going to do something that I haven't had to do in a very long time. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. If you guys are looking for the same thing, having the same trouble as I'm going to explain in this video, I'll have a link for this down below. Go ahead and pick it up and it's going to make your trimmers like they're brand new again. This is the T-Wide replacement blade and this is good for the basically the five star series of trimmers which uh, consists of the detailer, the retro T-cut and the cordless detailer lithium ion which I do have right here. And we're going to be replacing this blade. reason why we need to do this is because even though I can use these right now and it will actually take the hairs off, it's actually going to require it to take uh, multiple passes. It's not going to just be a smooth cut and just tap it and it'll just be done. I actually would have to go over the same spot multiple times, which would be a cause for possible razor bumps, uh, razor burn. Instead of it just being like a nice clean cut, it basically tugs the hair out and it starts growing back. That's what gives it that curl. There are other blades that fit on here. There's the regular T blade and then the T wide blade. So these ones are, of course, wider, actually gives more coverage per uh, cut. So before I take this one out of the package, let's go ahead and remove the original. I only actually had to do this like two other times, one for the, the corded ones after I've had those forever. And then I did it one time. I think I took the blade off and cleaned it and put the same one back on. So this is gonna be my very first time doing it with these ones. Uh oh, we got a problem right here. This, this screwdriver does not fit like I thought it was gonna fit. So I'll be right back, hold on. All right guys, I'm back and we have been saved, luckily, with a different screwdriver. So we're gonna start by going ahead and removing both of these screws right here. Don't mess with the stuff all up in there. You're gonna make your whole clippers fall apart. All we need is this blade to come off. And once we take it off, the hard part is going to make sure that we zero gap them, making sure everything is fully level. Otherwise, you could injure yourself pretty good. And we don't want that, so make sure you watch the video closely as to what I'm showing you and what I'm saying how I'm doing it, how things are gonna be put back together. And I do believe, I actually recorded this one other time, so if this video doesn't give a very good explanation for you or you wanna see it you know, in another way, I do have another video. I'll try to add that to the card that pops up. And you guys can learn from two different videos from the same guy. It easily pops off right there. And before I even clean it off, I'm just gonna set that to the side. But what I will clean off is the inside of this. I would also suggest that if you guys have a, a air compressor to blow some air up in here because there is a lot of hair coming out of there if you guys can see that I know it's a dark background but yeah there it is got a good bit of hair in here and the reason this hair doesn't really come out is because when we oil the clippers the oil causes it to get you know a little sticky in here brushing some out These things have some steady, steady power for all the amount of hair that was caught up in here too, by the way. Get a little piece of the napkin, I'm gonna fold it up just a little bit to make it thick and sturdy. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the slot right here and just kind of move it around. Hopefully we get some of the hair stuck to the paper towel and come up out of here. A little bit there. All right, now I think I actually cleaned this good enough, so I guess I'll go ahead and show some love to the original blade and get some of the hairs knocked off of this. There's also ways to sharpen these, so if you guys are not really, I guess, uh, in the need to buy a new set of uh, blades, you can actually just pop these off and get one of the little uh, sand things or whatever and scrape it down and, you know, resharpen it. But me... I didn't feel like doing that, but I do want to either keep this and try that in a future video, or if maybe one of you guys that's watching this video feels like you want this, uh, just pay some money for me to ship it or something to you, and I guess I can get this to you, and you guys could sharpen it up yourself if you want to. All you would need to do is drop it in some uh, alcohol, and it's, it'll be good. Let's go ahead and pop this open. I guess I'll go ahead and use the new screws that it gave me. Looks like it's actually oiled up already as well as you guys can see that they come pre-oiled which is pretty cool these are two different size screws 
to remove the blades, hold firmly, push away. Before replacing the blades, make sure the two spring wires are seated in the notches and that they move freely. Blah, zay, blah. So we got one end right here, looks like this. The other end like this with the gap in the middle, you wanna kinda put the little thing in the gap. So once you get it in there, it slides, as you can see like that. It does look like it's zero gapped pretty much already. Let me compare it to this one. I never adjusted these blades at all. They're just about the same. You guys can see the gapping and stuff like that on them. Just set this back on here. I'm setting these two notches right here onto the holes right there. Set those in there. And then this thing, it springs down. If you can see this right here, it springs down. Once you press the spring down, it'll give you access to the top two screws right there. Set these on here and we'll be good. Now when you're actually putting the screw back, don't tighten them up all the way because you don't want this thing to be crooked. Just tighten it up just a little bit just to get it in there and hold some tension. And then we're gonna make sure that the blade is set evenly before we tighten it down fully. So there it is, so it's on there. Still got a little bit of spring action still open. Now I wanna make sure everything is still centered and even. The blade is pushed up as far as it can go. We should be good. There's one, there's two. Matter of fact, I think that's why they gave me the different screws because again, this is not just for this trimmer. It's for like three different kinds of trimmers. So the other ones might use these type of screws. So again, use the screws that look most comparable to the ones that you're replacing. Looking at them, they seem to be spot on. Y'all see the focus right there? That's pretty cool. Again, this is the original. You guys are not going to be able to tell like the difference kind of, but trust me, this one was getting pretty dull. So we threw a new blade on there. This is how they sound. Very, very sharp and powerful. And I ain't even had them on the charger for quite a while too. So they do hold their power for a little while. But um, yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, if you thought it was easy, if you thought it was hard or whatever, if you have any questions about it, drop the comments below. I'm here to help you, man. Make sure you guys check out my whole entire channel, youtube.com slash NateMatthews91. I got a bunch of tips, tricks, and confidence for you guys as far as shaving your heads and getting your beards, you know, nice and straight and everything like that. So uh, this has been my review, I guess, on setting up the replacement blade and if you guys want to see me put this thing to use make sure you guys check me out in my very next video because i actually could use the lineup right now so that being said catch you on the next one peace